failure to wear a seatbelt within the European Union is unfortunately a really large problem. We have 10% of people not belting up in the front seat and that raises um, to a quarter on the rear. We know from very rigorous research that a non-seatbelt wearing um, will result in fatalities. Uh, and also very serious injuries. And we know from um, data from the Road Safety Authority in 2014 that in the fatal injuries that were sustained as a result of road traffic collision, 19% were not wearing seatbelts. Um, I think that's a very sobering figure. In some countries in Europe, uh, seatbelt wearing is at a very high rate. So in the UK, in Sweden, in some of the, the, the larger countries, seatbelt wearing is very, very high. However, there are countries in Europe where seatbelt wearing is much lower than we would like. And wearing a seatbelt is still the single most important thing that people can do to improve their chances of coming out of an accident uh, without very serious injuries. Seatbelt enforcement is a difficult one because if you look at speeding, for example, you can do that by technical equipment. But for, for seatbelt, we have to look with our own eyes. And of course, if some of those people see the police approaching, they quickly buckle up. So it's a difficult one to, to, to address. The impact um, on the individual, a non-restrained individual involved in a high velocity road traffic collision is immense. You have nothing to restrain you, therefore you will go head first through the windscreen or through the person in front. Then we have many, many cases where the occupants were ejected. Even on rollover crashes, they're ejected out of the car. Normally, then uh, they are also fatally injured. And you have traumatic injuries uh, directly to the impact to the steering wheel, to the impact of the knee, to the uh, lower dashboard, and so on. If you're an unrestrained backseat passenger, you become a missile. So you're not only going to cause um, injury to yourself, but you're also going to cause very significant injury to the people in the front seat. So we would like to see an EU law that requires all new vehicles to be fitted with seatbelt reminders. We already have it for the driver, so that should be extended to the front passenger and to the rear of, of the vehicle as soon as possible. There is a cost involved. They have to fit some hardware to have occupant detection. But as the systems become much more widespread, those costs become uh, lower. And we would think that the cost involved is easily worth it for the savings that are uh, achievable by having these systems in the rear seats. There is no doubt that seat belts save lives. There is no doubt that seat belts reduce the severity of the injury sustained in a road traffic collision. And any piece of technology that can prompt the wearer or the passenger or the rear seat passenger to wear a seat belt is a good idea. If we see what uh, seat belt reminders have done in the front seat for the wearing rates, it's tremendous. Uh, throughout Europe, the seat belt wearing rate has gone up. It's not quite there yet, but it has done a lot. But if you look at the back seat, where most of the cars still don't have a reminder, there are still uh, very low figures. In my opinion, seat belt reminders should be available for all the passengers in the car as well as just the front seat drivers. We expect that with seatbelt reminders we could get wearing rates up to 99% and that would make a huge difference in terms of uh, saving lives and preventing serious injury across the EU.